Um, I know you're kind of on a time schedule, so when you got to run, just say, oops, got to go. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Just to give you a heads up, because I know you are sort of time restricted. Um, you and I spoke. The three of us spoke maybe, um, it, it was right around the time of the Kavanaugh nomination announcement. And I said to you, you said to me, we sort of tossed it back and forth. We have no idea how dirty the Democrats are going to make this. And we kind of chuckled and rolled our eyes. Did We really didn't, did we? We did not. When uh, one person can make an allegation against another on an event 36 years earlier, of which everyone who, who the alleger says was there, all four people who are, you know, you're there, these four people are there, all say it didn't happen, uh, including the best friend of the person making the allegation. He has no remembrance. Uh, and then still a person's life is destroyed. It is incredibly scary, Let's, and it's, 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 it's scary for you, for me, uh, for Aaron, you name it, um, and all bets are off. Let's talk about for a second the politics of the situation. Quoting you, here's a headline. Senate Democrats don't want the truth. They want delay. In your mind, does that mean when the FBI investigation, according to Fox, it could be today or tomorrow? Does that mean you anticipate more accusations, more delays? What do you think? Of course. By the way, delay, delay, delay. Um, as Kavanaugh said, this is going from advise and consent to search out and destroy. Um, and so they're saying, wait a second, no, it can't be done in a week. We need an open-ended timeline for investigation. Um, and we can't stop with five people, three people, 23 people, 25 people. We must keep on going. Uh, it is delay, delay. By the way, they were very open about it. Before even Kavanaugh came out, Chuck Schumer said he was going to do whatever it took to stop whomever Trump nominated from being approved. And you may recall there was a woman from New Orleans being considered. There's already a website reserved, um, Stop Coney Barrett. And if you go StopConeyBarrett.com, and the little blurb there says website to be developed. Well, does to be developed if she's ever nominated? Hmm. Uh, it, it is just a question of blocking Trump's appointees um, no matter what. Senator Cassidy, uh, uh, real quickly, if if Judge Kavanaugh was not honest before the Judiciary Committee about his drinking or about any of these other issues, do you have a problem with that? Let's disregard the other allegations. If he, if he told lies to the committee, do you have issues with that? So what is the issue? 36 years ago, when he was a high school kid and a college student, he may have had more beers than he remembers or that people may have perceived he had more beers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'm a liver doctor, and one of the great quotes in liver disease is, what is moderate drinking is what the doctor drinks. So if you drink more than the doctor, you're a heavy drinker. If you drink less than the doctor, you're a light drinker. But if you drink what the doctor drinks, you're a moderate drinker. Um, it came to mind once because we asked a resident, um, he said the guy's a moderate drinker. And we said, how much does he drink a day? Two-fifths. And the, the attending said to the resident, two-fifths? How much do you drink a day? He goes, two-fifths. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if it's a question of perception about a memory 36 years ago, that is a question of perception. But, 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 but answer, if he lied, do you have an issue with that? If he lied about whether or not he was there and whether or not um, he assaulted, absolutely. That is not uh, permissible. Um, uh, that is not permissible. You know, uh, so there are there are there are criticisms of some of the Republicans on the Judiciary Committee for not standing up in uh, more strongly to the Democrats. Well, something that you have done, I love this. Bill Cassidy calls for FBI investigation into the Democrats that are investigating. Tell us about that. What did you mean? Did you notice that when Kavanaugh? basically had the insight that this was a coordinated smear campaign, that a couple of the Democratic senators like took offense at that. Well, wait a second, we're coordinating this? You've got to be kidding us. When clearly it's a coordinated campaign. But they're, uh, they're, they're attempting to say, oh, it's not, is to create in the minds of the American people, this is honest probing with no, imagine, you know, no kind of preset strategy or agenda. Well, let's find that out. If it really is coordinated, if indeed it was calculated not to release Dr. Ford's letter to the FBI when she first submitted it so that all this could be done confidentially, so that Dr. Ford's anonymity could be protected as Dr. Ford wished it to be, and instead after Kavanaugh went through his hearings, then it was revealed to kind of be a hand grenade exploding, was that calculated? 
Was it leaked to the Washington Post? Because people are denying that it was leaked. Yet the Washington Post got it. And so how do we kind of square all that? Um, I think that the American people would be well served if they understood the strategy and the uh, techniques behind it. Was, was Feinstein the leak in your opinion? Well, she denies it. Um, so, so just uh, perhaps it was a staff person. Uh, but somebody leaked it. And since she, uh, another congresswoman, and their staff are the only ones that had it, um, uh, either we say Dr. Ford leaked it or we say that one of those offices did. But it strains credulity, if you will. It's hard to believe that it just mysteriously, you know, just mysteriously showed up at the Washington Post. Are you a yes vote regardless of what this week's FBI investigation shows? Of course not. But since every, every testimony was given under penalty of felony, and now the FBI is going back and taking testimony under penalty of felony, uh, I, I don't expect the testimony to change. Uh, so uh, if it changes, hey, then we reconsider. If it is exactly the same, if somebody did commit a felony when they testified as the way they did, including Dr. Ford's best friend who says she can't remember it, if they were all committing felonies, well, then that would certainly be something to reconsider.